Okay, so now we are going to add another options for the user to select. This time we'll be using the radio button control. So let us create a another group box. This will be the container for all our uh, radio buttons. So let's just change the name here to radio buttons and now we can drag a radio button control inside it so let's call this as layer and change the name to rb layer let's drag two more so this is for the line type rb line type and let's change the text to line type and one more for the text style text style let's call this as rb text style okay now we can code you can update the uh, show item button here and uh, get the, the value from this uh, radio button control instead of combo or text box so let's do that let me just comment out this one now using radio button okay so to do that we need to have the if statement so if rb layer dot checked then our choice would be rb layer dot text all right and same thing for the rb line type if the rb ad button line type dot checked then choice will be rb line type dot text And finally, for the RB textile dot check, and our choice will be RB textile dot text. So I did not add the option for all, but you can just do it. The important emphasis here is that for the radio button, it behaves just like the combo box which means that you can only select one one item from the group or series of uh, radio buttons okay so you might want to update this uh, program by yourself and add some of another options like the all but for now it should be good for our demo so that's it for the code update here let's save our project and Let's try it. Let's open the drawing. Okay, and let us load our plugin. Custom controls demo. Now we have a demo. So here, if we select on the layer, click on show items, there you go. Select on the line type, see the behavior? It automatically uncheck the layer if you select one of the other options. Select on the textile, go back to layer. Okay, 
so as an extra uh, exercise for you you should add maybe the all option here same as the combo box so you can display in one go for all these uh, three list boxes here and that's how simple it is to use the radio button controls okay in the next video we're going to use the checkbox control i'll see you there